Hi everyone, it's Lewis from the Ball 101 and today I'm back for another video. So today I'm doing my uh, week 1 of the PDCL Baja Division uh, against PDONS. So uh, the PDCL is basically a, cha a challenger league to uh, get into the PDPL which is the uh, argu arguably the most competitive league in uh, basically er anywhere. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make him very mad by leading Aromatis and Sonora. I have Azuril which absolutely walls Dragapult. And what can this combo not deal with? This combo isn't that good at dealing with... I guess I can run Heracross. Does Heracross sound good? Or should I run Coco? I think... I think Coco's the right play here, because it provides some special special damage in case he does have some weird AV sets and I do have Electro Web and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah. And I do have time to stop whatever shenanigans uh like perish. Yeah, I, I can stop perish song. Okay. Cause I do see a perish trapping option here with uh Gothrita and uh uh, Altaria. So I can bring Coco into back and stop him from uh, finishing the end game with a Perish Song. Perish Song. Okay. Good luck, have fun to Pedons. And let's see how this goes. So he leads off with Gothrita and Turtonator. It's okay, I don't plan on switching anyways. Uh, Though he might be trying to reverse my trick room potentially. I feel like what I do here is I just attack into the uh, Gothrita. Because he's just going to set trick room, right? Oh, actually, if he sets trick room, I actually want him to set trick room. What do I do here? I feel like I can Moon Blast. Uh, this is weird. This is a weird matchup. Uh, I can stall out his trick room turns, to be honest. I do have to protect the Incineroar though. Okay, I don't think I need a uh, trick room right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Bloom Blast and protect. Okay. Turtonator also protects. Okay, I'm fine with him setting up Trick Room to be honest. Because all he does for me is proccing Mutant's policy. Oh, okay, wait, oh I used Darkest Lariat. Oh wait, oh okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that was a dumb timeout. But now... What, I, what do I do here? I feel like my best move is to just helping hand the Incineroar and just Darkest Lariat the crap out of. I have to Dynamax here. Uh, the reason being, uh. Wait, actually, I don't need to. Because what I do here is I. I set Trek Room and I protect. So that uh, Max Quake doesn't do that much into Incineroar. Because I assume he maxes here. Yep, that's the Max Turtonator I was expecting. And most likely, I see him trying to target down the Incineroar with possibly a Max Quake. So if he does do that and I get to deny Trick Room, uh, I'm in a very good spot. Okay, Incineroar protects. Let's see if he max quakes into the Incineroar. That is the max quake into that's okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's max quake into Incineroar, procs my weakness policy, and I get to max next turn. And also I think I'm reversing trick room here. But we will see. Okay. Uh weakness policy gets procced. I think that was a good protect on my part. Uh I assume Gothrita is clicking. Oh, Rock 2! Oh, self prop weakness policy. Okay, interesting. We know that the Goth Rita is slower than the Turtonator, so the Turtonator has to be running speed, right? The 
that's on that's the only way he Oh. I think I just messed up because let's see. Go off free to uh that's 55, so yeah, he is running speed. I guess what I do here is I just have to helping hand and max darkness. Yeah, I just have to helping hand and max darkness the Terminator. No, actually max darkness thing the Terminator is not a good move because uh, he could always just go protect. He could always protect on the Terminator. So I think what I do here is let's just do it let's just do it uh max darkness into the terminator okay let's see if he uh max guards if he max guards uh i'm in the bad spot since uh gothritum might be able to pull off something weird yeah but hopefully he doesn't and we get to pull this off because he can definitely uh, protect, and that is a problem. And also, uh, his Terminator has lowered speed, so Terminator is always going first here. I think. Yeah, he's using Helping Hand as well. That's very bad for me. Because now he max quakes first, and I don't know if I live. Please live, Incineroar. Damn it. I think he takes, I think he takes game one here. Yeah. Uh, this wing is policy crap is a bit annoying. Okay. Now Azero just becomes useless because... Yeah, god. Uh... Okay, what do I do here? Uh... I think my best bet is to stall out the Trick Room turns, so I'm going to send out Azero. Wait, the nicknames didn't appear. Okay, cool. It's fine. Uh... I'm just gonna try and take as many KOs as possible, so I'm just gonna go helping hand on the Robotis and hope that I can pick off the Gothrita. Because I have no idea what the heck it, uh, Terminator is going to target here. Uh, this, this is a bad game one for me, but I think we can pull it back. Okay. Helping hand, yep, expected. We know that it has protect uh most likely scorching sands. Okay, how much this does nothing to the Oh yeah, it is plus two defense. The max flare that probably picks up the KO. Yeah it does. This plus two turn nature is doing a lot of work. I did not expect him to lead uh with this, because I was expecting like drag pole leads or whatever. Okay, how many turns of Trick Room do I uh, have to enter? Because that Trick Room really screwed me over. But yeah, that sure was a weird golf to set. Uh, how many turns of Trick Room? Two turns. I guess I have to attack here then. I guess I have to dazzle and gleam, and I'm just gonna help hand to Coco, because Coco uh, is sashed. Just trying to pick up as many KOs as possible here. Okay, help hand, which means that Coco uh, always goes down to sash here. Scorching sand, that makes sense. Coco reveals the sash, unfortunately. Okay, yeah. And, oh, cool. Uh, I got burnt. Dazzling Gleam, how much does this do? Uh, it probably wouldn't do much. Yeah, it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. The Scoffrita is very bulky. Okay, now the Azero just dies. Uh, I'm going to pretend that I'm choice locked. Because I don't want to reveal any more moves. It's sad that Azero couldn't put in the work, but yeah. Because he never got the chance to let Dragapult reveal itself. And Azrael's Azrael was the Dragapult counter. Okay, most likely oh sport yeah, he probably expects the fake fat. So yeah, this takes Azrael down and we lose game one with 4-0. That's not good. Uh hopefully we can adjust because I do have a plan B for game two. 
Okay, so here we are in game two. Uh, originally, I thought leading a Roma to Simpson for a game one strat to uh, just uh, maybe do some stuff was a good idea. Apparently, it wasn't. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my reliable strat and aggro on Heracross. I need Coco in the back to taunt that Altaria. And I guess I bring Incineroar here. Because what else do I. What, like, what else should I be using? Other than this in the war. Cause I guess Moonblast for the uh Dragapult, but I also have Darkest Flareon, and that's probably better. And I do have Flare Blitz for the Toke, and I can Darkest Flareon the uh Gothrita. Yeah, I think I have to bring in Cinnaroar here. Okay, let's see if Azeroth gets another chance to shine in game three, but for game two we have to not lose. I really wanna let Azrael tank those Dragapult hits and make him very mad, but yeah. Nova Rizion was uh, surprising, but I guess with uh, Tornado's T in my team, it does make him less likely to bring it. Okay, so he leads off of Dragable Clef Clefable. This is, a, this is a lead that I'm pretty okay with. Uh, he always has the chance of setting uh, a Will-O-Wisp up. So I think what I do here is I just Steel Spike into the Pult and I coaching. Yeah, I think this is what I do here. There's a very good chance he Will-O-Wisp me. Uh, like the aggron, uh, but even if he does, I think coaching will eventually be enough to overshadow it. Or should have I? Or should I? Or should I have throw chopped the dragon pole? Nah, he follow me's here. He easily just follow me's and uh, it's Babiri Clefable, like easy. It's obviously Babiri Clefable. Okay. This Clefable is going to take a long time to chip away at. Uh, he did not Dynamax, which means I think he's going to follow me will wisp I think that is very bad for me. Okay, Agron. Let's see what you can do. Uh, Coaching. Yep. Please don't be will wisp Phantom Force. Oh. I think I have messed up. Yeah, I've messed up. Okay, D Gleam. Heracross takes this, which is good. But now I'm targeting into the Dragapult slot, which is terrible for me. I guess I just have to do the same thing again. Because I don't see why I don't. Because Dragapult can protect, and Dragapult is always faster than Agra. Best you can do is follow me with Unaware Cle up a Greedy Clef. But yeah, that wasted my max turn, which was terrible. But he does seem to be an offensive Dragapult set, so I don't think he's going to be... Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to be uh, having will wisp And of course, he is scared of using will wisp onto Heracross, because Heracross uh, does have Guts as an option. Go chain, yeah. I think Heracross goes down here though, because uh, Clefable. Okay, Phantom Force, that's into the Heracross. I think Heracross dies here, yeah, that makes sense. And Clefable actually didn't use Follow Me, which is weird in my in my opinion. Oh, it is Life Orb. That, is it stuck in Dazzling Gleam? Because why doesn't he follow me here? I don't see why he doesn't follow me. Okay, what I do here is I send in the, I guess, Incineroar. So I can apply some fake out pressure. Yeah, I think I send in Incineroar to apply some fake out pressure, and yeah. Because currently I haven't revealed anything other than Darkest Lariat and Protect. Altaria. 
Okay, I think I have to kill the Altaria right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Okay, Cloud9. There is a good chance that he is Focus Sashed. So I feel like what I have to do here is I have to... Uh... I think I have to rock. I have to steal... Which will do more? Steel Spike or Rockfall? Probably Rockfall. So I'm gonna Rockfall into the Clef Clefable slot. And I'm going... No, 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 no. I'm going to Rockfall into the Altaria slot. And I'm going to fake out any potential Focus Sashes. Yeah, because even if... uh, Yeah, even if Clefable uses Follow Me, I'm... Okay, it protects. He, he ran me. He ran me so well. Okay. Uh, Clefable also... Okay, it was a double protect. That's understandable to avoid fake out. But now I do set up the sandstorm, which means I can... Uh, I have a better chance at living stuff. On the special side, at least. And I have a huge physical defense stat. This does decent damage onto the Alt Altaria. I actually like this damage. Okay. But the problem here is Altaria can easily outspeed me now. Which means he can set up Perish Song as long as he wants to. So if he's going to Perish Song, I think what I do here is I just have to click Rock Slide and I'm just going to Flare Blitz into the Clefable slot. Cause, yeah. If the last mod is a mod that Coco can 1v1 against, then that's awesome. Uh, follow me. I assume this is Parish Song. I don't see why not. Feather Dance. Okay, that makes sense. I'm now at neutral attack, but I think even at neutral attack, I can pick off the Altaria here. Rock Slide. Okay, it doesn't miss. Altaria should go down. It doesn't go, but it does go down to Sandstorm next turn, which is good enough for me. Okay, Flavor should do a decent damage. I like this damage. That's uh, enough to pick it up the next turn. Wait, oh yeah, it is Cloud9, I totally forgot about that. Uh, well, I easily just do the same thing here. I don't see why I don't. Because I have to kill it before it sets up the uh, Parish Song. Because, well, technically, he even if he sets up Parish Song, I can strategically switch out and have Coco and whatnot. Okay, it's fine. Uh, what is his last mod? Turnator. Okay, uh, I'm faster in Turnator because uh, he does not have Trick Room. So if he loses Protect, that's fine. Uh, even though I do help him uh, set up the weakness policy, Agron is most likely faster in Turnator outside of Trick Room. So, yeah. And also, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a. Oh, wait, he still has his Dynamax. Okay. What I do here is I use Incin and Flare Blitz the uh, Clefable because- Wait, why is Incin slower? Oh wait, I think I messed up some of the EVs. Okay, but we know that he cannot set up Trick Room here. And we also don't know anything else. Okay, cool. Uh, best bet uh, is to Rock Slide for Spread and do I Dark Slariot? I think I have to Dark Slayer at the turn later. Yeah, I think this is what I do here. Because Coco can most likely clean up in the back if it's single target Dazzling Gleam. Because he maxes here. He he has to max turn later here. Yeah, he has to max turn later here. Right? But we do know that we have to bring Agron because Agron does pretty well to turn Nature. That's neutral Agron with no uh, boost, and that's doing good damage. Altaria, okay, that makes sense. Uh, but I am clicking uh, Rock Slide here, so even uh, so, Altaria is going down here easily. I, but I think he's just going to sack Altaria because he expects a Flare Blitz. Okay, here we go. The Forbidden Max Turnator. This Turnator is very annoying. Uh, yeah, this is not. Rock Slide will not be enough to KO unless I crit, which I don't, unfortunately. Uh, and I think Agron goes down here. Actually, I'm not sure because currently I have AV and Sand Boost. I'm totally fine with him taking out Incineroar. Oh, he he dies to Sand next turn. He just dies to Sand next turn. 
He picks off the Agron, which is fine because I have Coco in the back and I win. Okay. Good. This is very close. Yeah, these matches are way too close for comfort. Turn here to. Oh, goes down to stand here. So Agron does pick up the KO. Good. And now we have Coco and Incineroar. And I don't see how we lose to Clefable. Because Dazzling Gleam is not doing enough damage. Yeah. He don't send out Clefable. And now I just click. Uh, I think I have to keep clicking Dazzling Gleam as to not reveal my moveset. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I can afford gleaming and blitz in here, so that I don't reveal any moves. Yeah, doesn't gleam goes out. Should pick up the KO. It does. Okay, the crit didn't matter there. Uh, okay, let's move on to game three. Hopefully, we can win this. Okay, so here we are in game three. Uh, we know that we want to preserve Agron to deal with the Turtonator, because Turtonator doesn't seem to, like, his best move is Max Quake, but I do have the Salt Vest, so I, if, it, if it's unboosted, I can deal with it pretty well, in my opinion. So I have to save a late game Max, I guess. Uh, what I do here is... I feel like I just have to lead uh, Agron Heracross, though. I feel like I have to do this. Like, I really want to give Azuril a chance at shining, but I just don't see Azuril being able to put in the work against this matchup. Yeah, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's just try our best to win. This is the league for winning, not the league for memeing around. If Azuril didn't work game one, it's not going to work, because now he expects Azuril. And he knows I have weakness policy, so he probably knows that Azrael is carrying Aqua Jet. Uh, so yeah, can I can't uh just try and gim uh gimmick him because he destroyed me game one, and I do not want the same thing to happen again. So let's see what he leads with. If he leads with the uh, turret nature and uh, other guy, I think what I do is because I force him to do something turn one, or I just get free coaching boost. Altaria and turret nature. Okay, uh, I easily have. I have to kill the turret nature here. That's my goal. I have to kill the turret nature. Uh, Cloud nine. Okay, yeah. Uh, Altaria does threaten the switch from, uh, yeah, Altaria does threaten me to switch, but I think what I do here is I can head smash into the Terminator, and I can coaching. I actually like this plan, like I just don't max right now, and I coaching the Agron, so that Agron just kills Terminator. Because he probably has some weird way, yeah, and he has to attack me or do coaching or whatever, uh, or Paris song right now in order to threaten me uh, to switch out. Uh, we will see. He does Dynamax the Terminator, which is this enough to Oko? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, Altaria can also go for go for Icy Wind here. So if he does max guard on turn nature and icy wins, I'm in a very bad spot. Okay, he doesn't max guard. Okay, but does he icy wind? He feather dances. Okay, that makes sense. So how much damage is this doing right now? This is minus one aggron. That's zero damage. Okay, cool. I'm pretty screwed here. Feather Dance Altaria is very annoying. Okay. 
Max Wormwind. Okay, I Agron's not doing any damage here. And Heracross does go down. <sighs> Crap. What do I do here? I think I have to taunt the Altaria in order to stop it from wrecking any more havoc. Yeah, I'm going to taunt the Altaria, and I'm going to just kill it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Actually, do I need to taunt the Altaria? Because right now, I think I can just head smash into the... I can head smash into Turnator again, but I'm minus two right now. Yeah. I guess I just rock slide for spread damage then. And maybe hope that I get a crit. And I just electro web here. Because I don't see how Altaria threatens uh Coco right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Ele Electro Web. We can also reveal if Altaria is Scarf or not. Okay, Altaria protects, that's fine. Luckily I clicked the rock slide, so I still do something. Electroweb. Yep. It's going to protect and Terminator takes like zero damage. Uh, its speed drops and Rock Slide probably wouldn't do much. I assume it does around an eighth of its health. That also did nothing. Cool. Uh, Max Quake, that's most likely into the aggro. I think I lose now because he can just. Uh, set up a uh, Perish Song, and that's like, it's end game. However, I can still max the Incineroar, I can taunt the Altaria, so the Altaria cannot uh, do Perish Song or whatever it wants to. Yeah, I think I have to taunt the Altaria here, and just hope that it's not Mental Herb. Because currently we have no idea what item it is, it might be low HP Berry, but, I don't know. I have to Dynamax, I have to Max Darkness to turn nature here in order to have a chance. And I guess I just have to taunt the Altaria and hope that it's not Mental Herb. Because I'm in a very bad spot here. If it's Mental Herb, I lose. That's all I know. If it's Mental Herb Altaria, I lose. Okay. Hopefully this works. Because that Altaria really messed me up really hard. I did not expect Altaria to pop off so hard. Okay. Let's see. Because I outspeed Turn Nature here. So as long as it's not Mental Herb and I stop it from uh, Feather Dancing, I'm good. No Mental Herb? Yes! Awesome! I protected it. Might be Focus Sash. I feel like the Sash is on the Altaria here. Oh no, Instant dies here. Instant dies. Oh no. Yeah, Incineroar just dies here. Yeah, that's, that is Max Quake into the Incineroar. I don't think Incineroar is... Into a Coco? Oh! I think he misplayed. Right? That's a misplay. Because I still have Incineroar. I guess he expected me to... Uh, I don't know what he expected me to do, to be honest. Okay, yeah, here I, uh... Yeah, I max darkness into the turret nature, and I dazzle and gleam. Yeah, because Artaria is taunted, so now it cannot feather dance, and I did reveal its perish song. Perish song. Okay. Yeah, okay. I assume Altaria is Focus Ash, so Dazzling Gleam will help me break that Focus Ash. Uh, it did max uh, Wormwind Quake Quake, so it's currently at plus one de uh, special defense. Okay, he withdraws Altaria. I think he wants to save Altaria, maybe? Okay. Uh, does Dazzling Gleam pick off the Terminator here? It does pick off the Terminator, that's awesome. Okay, so now I darkness into the uh, Clefable, which doesn't do much damage, but I think that's not that bad. 
And we also know that it's not, uh, we also know that Altaria is not, uh, uh, fo it's not Mental Hurt. It might be Focus Sash, but I'm not that worried about Focus Sash. I feel like he's setting in Altaria and double protecting this turn. Okay, he sends a Dragapult. Uh, I'm worried that Dragapult would just, uh, like, ignore me. And... Yeah, I feel like what I do here is... I kinda have to save my Coco though. Right? I just have to do this. This is my best bet. I uh, doesn't really... Yeah, I just have to de I just have to de gleam here. Cause he phantom forces, right? Okay, protect. Uh Phantom Force, yeah, that makes sense. That's why I targeted into the Clefable, because I was worried about Phantom Force. I think Phantom Force just picks up the Coco next turn, which is annoying. Because that means I'm uh I just have instant against the rest of his team. Yeah, that does no damage, which makes sense. But I feel like I'm not that scared of offensive Cafable here. So I think what I do is I just Lariat. Can I afford to Lariat? Like, what if he does the thing? I just have to kill the Cafable here, I think. Because, yeah, it's I have to do this because uh, if he if he uh, goes yeah follow me that was I that was what I was worried about. So yeah, Dragon Ball Phantom forces the Coco. Coco goes down here. Uh, okay, can Instant One be free? Is that something Instant can do? Uh, I feel like what I do next turn is I have to get rid of the Altaria ASAP get before it starts Feather Dancing. Because right now I feel like he could misplay and go for Parish Song. So I feel like I just have to Darkest Lariat and hope that he dies. Actually, if he does Parish Song, I win. Yeah, if he Parish Songs, I win. As long as I can uh, live through the free turns, that is. Yeah, okay, weather is gone, but there's two dragon types I'm not using that move. I'm just going to Lariat into D. Altaria is always faster than And Dragapult can also just Phantom Force, but I don't see the Phantom Force from the Dragapult. Because, yeah, I feel like I just have to target and just hope that he uses Parish Song. Right? Yeah, the only way I win here is if he misplays. Which is not ideal, because that's not a situation anyone wants to be in. He goes for a dive? What the heck is this moveset? It's all two turn moves. Feather Dance, yeah, makes sense. I guess I just have to protect next turn. I'm protecting here. He knows I have Protect, so maybe he does something with Dalataria, maybe he Parish Songs. But when Khan is for him to click Parish Song, Dive, that goes into Protect. And if it's Phantom Force, I'm not that worried. Okay, I think I need to crit. I think that's my way of winning. Is that I have to crit the Altaria, and then I crit the Drag Bolt. Just crit. Double crit. Do it, Incineroar. Please. <laughs> Somehow. Because weakness policy is not helping me here, because he can easily just feather dance whatever boost I have. I have to protect next turn though. Feather dance, yep. Yeah, my win con is to crit here. My only way of winning is critting. Which, like, I don't see it being that... Oh, well, that's a cool crit! <laughs> okay, now I just need to crit again. Uh, I, after I protect this turn. And he can always misplay by, uh, yeah, I always protect here. 
to avoid the dive. Unless Altaria starts dragon dancing, I think I should be fine. But I think it's an attacking move. Dragon Bolt dive goes into the protect. Okay, Feather Dance, yeah, because he revealed Feather Dance, Parish Song, and Protect. So, yeah. I think I just continued Darkest Lariating, because at this point, what is he going to do other than dive? Dragon Darts. That makes sense. I don't die here. But I do die next turn. So I think I lose. Feather Dance, please crit. Just, just crit, for the sake of it. This Altaria is very annoying. Yeah, no, that's not a crit. Okay. Well, GG to P-Dance. You played extremely well. I, more or so, I played badly. But, yeah. Let's hope that we can play better in uh, the future weeks. So this is the end of this video. Uh, hopefully we can win uh, the next five weeks of the PDCL Baja Division. So this is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed my videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Also ring that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.